Hello my lovely ladies. I am going to do a tutorial on how to do a full face of makeup, um, specifically with a show choir makeup, but this is just going to help you with a lot of basic concepts and other stuff like that. So let's get into it. Alright, so first thing, we're going to start with foundation. Now, um, you can use a brush for foundation or you can use a sponge. I personally like to use a beauty blender, but either way is fine. Um, if you do use a sponge, make sure to wet it because that is going to make your foundation go on so much easier. Um, and, oh, also only use a sponge if you're using liquid foundation. Otherwise, that would be bad. All right, so I am going to use this foundation. It's not anything fancy. I got it at Target. Um, it's just a, a quick Maybelline foundation. Make sure that your foundation matches your skin tone because otherwise that is not going to be good. Sorry, I sound sick. I'm really awkward. Okay, so what you're going to do is I put the foundation right on my hand first and then just dip the blender into it and put that right onto my face. Make sure you blend into your neck. Otherwise, it will look weird. Alrighty guys, make sure you blend up into your ears and just up to your hairline so that people can't tell because obviously this is what your face naturally looks like, right? Okay. Alright, I'm just going over it again, making sure it's blended. It looks a little light for me right now because I'm sick. My whole face is red, but <laughs> just ignore that. Alright. So, now that your foundation is on, we are going to use concealer. Now, your concealer should be one to two shades lighter than your actual skin tone. Um, that's just going to brighten it up, The and you're putting this on the high points of your face. So, again, this is something I bought at Target. It's Maybelline. Um, this is going to go under your eyes. See, I'm just making a triangle right under your eyes and then it's also gonna go on your forehead not your whole forehead just the bottom part of it the bridge of your nose your chin upper lip and now we're just gonna blend it out again I use a sponge um, whatever works Alright, now this is a step that a lot of people miss, um, and it's especially important for show choir makeup because, you know, we're singing a lot and it needs to be on, like, all day long. Um, it's gotta stay, so make sure you use powder. So this finishing powder I got from, guess where, Target, okay. Actually, I lied, I got this from CVS, but Target sells it. Um, and what you're going to do is you can use a brush for this. You can even use the sponge. Um, I personally use a brush. And I use this kind of angled brush. That's kind of like that. Um, we're just going to dip into the powder. This is a finishing powder. And go everywhere that you just put the concealer. So that this way it doesn't crease. And it, it will stay on. Alrighty. Ooh. 
Okay, next up is contour. I know contour sounds a lot really scary to a lot of people. When I started doing makeup, I was like, holy crap. It's really not that hard, I promise. So what we're going to do is, oh my god, wow, I wonder where she got this. <gasps> Target! Okay. <laughs> so I make sure you do not use a color that is too, too dark for you. Um, because then it's going to look weird. But again, it's show choir makeup. We're going to look a little bit like hookers. It happens. So what I'm using is just an angled brush um, to help fit the contours of my face better. And what we're going to do is essentially go under, like outline everywhere that we put concealer. So we're just going to dip into this contour and put it right, if you suck in, you see that line right there? That is where we're putting it. Don't go all the way to your lip. We're just going to go right to the middle of your eye and blend it out. Blend, 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 blend. You should be in the physical pain at the end of your makeup. Physical pain. Right on the other side. You um, can also put it along your jawline. I don't usually put a ton just because... I have a pretty defined jawline in the first place. Um, Alright, we're also going to take it and put it right along the hairline on both sides. I don't usually put it in the middle because that looks kind of weird, but if you have like a five head, then I would. Right along there, just to get some color and warmth into your face. See? Ooh, where'd those cheekbones come from? Oh, I don't know. Um, now, this, this part is definitely not necessary, but I do it because I have a pretty big nose. Um, so I'm just going to use this tiny angled brush. That's actually a eyeshadow brush, but this is what I use it for. Dip into the contour, and you're going to make a line right down your nose on both sides. Blend it out into your eyebrow so it looks more natural. Right down to the end. Do that on both sides. This is just going to make your nose look thinner. Again, not necessary. And what I'm doing right now is just making a V on the tip of my nose to make it look thinner. Sorry, I'm so sick. Alright. Oh, no. Okay. So, now that we are done... With contour, we are going to do highlight. Highlight is so very important for show choir and your life. So, um, highlight, that same palette that I used for contour has a good highlight, but what I'm going to use is a Stila highlighter. This is, um, this one's kind of expensive. I got this at Sephora. This was 52 I think. But anyways, <laughs> you can really use whatever. You could use... A fan brush for highlight um, certain sponges let you use highlight too but for what I usually use is a brush like this so this is angled and it's really fluffy so it, it makes sure it gets all of the highlight in there so this is actually like a putty kind of highlight oh you can see the screen um, I'm just gonna swirl around in there make sure I get a good amount of product and put it right above the contour so that's going right there Let's see if the light is not working well. So we're just going to put that right on the highlight of the cheekbones. Use as much as you want. This is show choir. There is no such thing as too much. And I also put it on the tip of my nose and down the bridge. Just kind of highlight that. Alright, you can also put it on the top of your lip, but... I don't think we're going to for sure. Alright. Uh, next what we're going to do is blush. So, there is blush, and then there is show choir blush. And show choir blush is going to be bright. Bright, bright, bright. You should look a little bit sunburnt. Um, at the end of it, I know it feels weird, it looks weird, but it's just going to happen. Um... I use a Maybelline blush. Those ones are pretty bright. 
Uh, this isn't the one I normally use, but for this video, I'll use it. Uh, just, you're just gonna dig in there. Oh, this is a blush brush, by the way. I, it's from e.l.f. I got it for a dollar at CVS. So you just dip into this, and what you're gonna do is smile and see this round apple of your cheek right here. That's where it's gonna go, right on the apple, and then blend it out and up. So apple, and blend it out right over the contour. It should be over the contour, but under your highlight. So I'm just gonna get that. And this is a trick that Connie showed me. Um, I'm pretty pale, and I used to wear a foundation that was way too pale for me. It was really bad, but what she would do is she would take the blush and just put a tiny bit at the top of my forehead and my chin just to get my face more color. You obviously don't have to do that. I know it's kind of weird, but... I'll do anything Connie tells me to. <laughs> so, now that we are done with the face, um, I will show you how to do eyebrows. I don't do eyebrows because obviously mine are pretty dark, but um, some of you will need to if you have darker eyebrows. So, I'll just show you how to do it for the purpose of this video. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take... Uh, a brush you can even use your fingers honestly and just kind of brush out the hairs of this of your brows um, just so that there's no strays all right what we're gonna do next is you there is a million different eyebrow products there is cream there is gel there is pencil there's a million things but and I will gladly show you how to do any of them but for right now I am going to use actually a brown eyeliner pencil so what you're going to do is you're going to just start, be very close to your eyebrow so you don't overdo it. And we're going to follow the natural curve of our eyebrow right there. Same for the top. Alright, now what we're going to do, yeah, it looks really dark because I have dark eyebrows and I don't do this, but is do not just color it in. Start from the bottom and make tiny strokes up so that it looks like hairs. Okay, and this looks stupid because I don't do my eyebrows, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do the other one. Alrighty, so now that the brows are done, we are going to take, we're going to do eyes. My eyebrows look so dumb. Okay, so we're going to take a concealer, the same one that you used um, for the rest of your face, and we're just going to put this right on the eyelids. fun and I'm gonna use a blender you could use a brush you could use your finger I use my finger a lot but just blend that in and make sure you get under your eyebrows to just kind of highlight that out now this step is also very important we're gonna bring back the powder and just put powder right over that concealer so that you don't get the crease the creased eyeshadow okay so that's gonna be your base right here okay so this was the base day palette that you're talking about um you can use other palettes I guess I don't know that's not up to me you need to <laughs> talk to Saturn about that so what we're going to do is, because this is mostly a silver-based look, we are going to start out... Let me find my brush. Guys, I can't find my brush. A brush! Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to use a few brushes here. The first one is uh, kind of angled, and it's pretty floofy. Um, for dirty brushes... You wash them or literally just I have a swatch right now but 
um, brush them out on your forearm to make sure previous product isn't on there. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to dip into this outer one right here, which is, um, it's a purplish silver. It's just doing its thing. This one doesn't really have a ton of pigment, so pigment means basically how well it shows up on your face. So you just got to kind of dip into it a lot. Um, I'm just going to start by putting this all over the lid into the crease, outer corner, inner corner, just everywhere. This is going to be a good, a good base. This is all very sparkly. You're never going to ever see a show choir not with sparkly makeup. It's, it's really, it's the panache, what can I say? So that's going all over the lid. Okay, this is not showing up on camera very well, but it's on there, I promise. Um, okay, now I'm going to dip into this second one, the silver here. And this is going to go on the inner corner. The, this, if, if you start in the middle of your eyelid and go into the corner, that's where this is going to go. And obviously there's a million different ways to interpret this palette or anything else really, but this is just what I'm going for. And I didn't prep too much, so. Alright. You know what I'm going to do? <sighs> oh, goodness. <laughs> is we're going to dip into this purple right here. And we're just going to go on the outer corners just a little bit though because this is meant to be more silver than purple and we're going into the crease of the outside and the outside of the lid and what we're also going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it on the lower lash line just on the outside though see how that makes my eye a little bit bolder than the other one so we're going to do that I mean it also makes you look a little bit like you have a disease but that's fine <laughs> Oh, look at me being mean to cover girl. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dip back into this. Dig the hell of it. It's just... you got to abuse it a little bit. And just go right over all of that. Oh yeah, fun stuff. back into the second color here and I'm using that on the crease and outer corner over the purple the purple is really just to accentuate the silver fantastic Oof. all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this little tiny brush right here and you can use the silver from that palette. I am not right now. I'm using this Physician's Formula um, palette. And I'm just going to dip into a white color and put that right in the corners. And right under the brow bone. So we're going to put that right under the arch. And kind of blend it out. You want the focal point to be the arch and then blend it out. Alright, so that's eyeshadow. What we're gonna do, it's not super showing up on camera right now, but oh well. Um, so now I know another scary thing eyeliner. Ah, yeah. liquid eyeliner. I know it's scary. Um, for some people, it's easier to use liquid eyeliner. For some people, it's harder. Um, all depends on the person. Uh, for me, it's easier to use liquid. Anyway, so what we're going to do, this is, oh, this is NYX, by the way. Bought it from, oh my god. Girlfriend spends a lot of time at Target. Okay. So what we're going to do 
just kind of wipe off some of it on the sides it eliminates the scariness so what we're gonna do is I'll try to zoom in a little bit is we're gonna start at the very corner of your eye and aim towards the tip of your eyebrow so we're gonna start at the corner and you can make it as long as you want aim towards the tip see it's not going all the way so that's your outer line so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start not at the very tip of the wing but we're gonna go a little bit downwards and just make a diagonal line along the base now it's just coloring it in and I know this takes so much practice guys I was so bad at wings when I did image I literally my wing was not attached to my eye like it was out here it was very embarrassing okay it also helps you might see me doing it as I hold my wrist while I do it to make sure that my hands not shaking um, so then we're gonna just switch sides and just very lightly make the line to attach to the rest wing and there you go this is uh, more of a bolder one you can do small wings you can the bigger the better though honestly because if you're like man I really screwed up my eyeshadow just covered up with a wing <laughs> I'm just kidding don't do that okay so now the other one watch this be so uneven uh -huh. pretty even okay I see you babe all right eyeliner is done um don't put it away though because we're gonna need it ready lashes I believe in you ladies you can do lashes you can do them I believe in you I just know it so what we're gonna do I recommend uh, these are Ardell lashes they're wispies um they're pretty good um the elf ones come in michael i'm in the middle of a tutorial um okay thank you so my brother just came in and gave me some emergency because you gotta make sure emergency wow i'm better already okay I say as I sniff ha 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 okay so oh crap Okay, so when you buy the Ardell lashes, they come with the lashes themselves, which I already took out of the box. Um, uh, these, the applicator, and uh, duo glue. So, what I have found is very easy, is if you take a tiny little brush, or you can even do this with your fingers I've done this with my fingers before we are going to take the applicator and just pinch the lashes so that you're holding on to them um, the closer ooh, the closer to the lash line with them that you are the better you're gonna squeeze just a tiny amount of glue on there and use the brush or and or your finger to just kind of spread the glue throughout the line now what we got to do is wait do not put it on right away wait for it to dry so not dry get tacky so we're just gonna kind of wave them around and wait a little bit contemplate life 
how do you think we're gonna do it, Lowell? I think we're gonna do bomb ass. Because we're some bomb ass people. You can. Oh, crap. Then the next step is realizing that you got glue literally everywhere. But that's okay, because it, <laughs> it dries clear. Alright, ladies, that was a mess. Don't do that. Alright. Okay, so I'm holding it like this, and this one is going to go in my left eye. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, make sure it's close to the lash line, and put it right on my eye. Apply it as close to your natural lash line as you possibly can, and then I take this part, and just press down on it. I'm gonna use my finger. Nobody got time for that. All right, and then just hold down both corners until it dries. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an eyelash curler. They are not as scary as you think. Put it over your natural and the Unnatural, fake ones, falsies. Just press them together. Yes? Okay. Wow. I kind of messed up that lash. But, yeah. So now you have fake lashes on that I have put too far to the outer corner. But you can always take them off and do it. So I'm going to do, you um, don't have to do the step, but I think it helps a lot. So we're going to take mascara. Um, the regular one I use is too far away right now. And we're just going to put this on the very roots of your lashes. And make sure you put it on your bottom lashes because otherwise it's going to look a little dumb. Not going to lie. Alright, I'm not going to do the other eye of lashes just because of the video. Um, so now that your eyes are done we are going to just pick up the blender I just use whatever access product is on it and just kind of put it over my lips so that you are working with kind of a blank slate so now what I'm gonna do is use um, whatever they uh, it's a nude nude one this is kind of a pinkish nude and y'all know how to do lipstick if you don't, that's fine. Tell me and I'll do it for you. Alright. You think we're done? No! We're going to take a setting spray. This is not necessary. If you don't have setting spray, do not freak out. Don't use hairspray. I've seen people do that. Bad idea. Terrible for your skin and everybody around you. Um, I use an Urban Decay setting spray. I'm not going to use it right now because I'm going to take it off right after this video, but <laughs> just spray it over your face so it'll stay throughout the whole competition and you will slay all day, my queens. Um, I hope you all have such a great competition. I hope this video helped. Um, I am always here to help with hair and or makeup. If you want me to make any more tutorial videos, I totally will. And I hope you all have a great night. I love you.